What's up guys? My name is George and welcome to this player review here in Viva 14 Ultimate Team. This time around, we've got a very special striker. We've got Luca Tony, this amazing legendary striker for Italy. Yes, Luca Tony has a team of the season. Unbelievable uh, at this age that he still has st is still getting team of the season cards. Um, and it's just, it's just really, really crazy. Uh, so, Luca Tony, team of the season player, 80 rated. His, uh, his normal card is actually a silver rare card. So, he made a huge leap all the way to this 80 team of the season card. So, force the week for the two star skill moves. He is very tall, six foot four, scored eight goals in seven games and three assists as well. So, very, very good uh, um, uh, stats right there, you know, in those games that he played. So this normal card versus the team of the season. Um, obviously, his pace is still really, really bad, but his shooting went up a lot, all the way to 82. Uh, his passing, not that much, but has that 57. His dribbling went up by 10, and then his heading went up by 6. So, yes, his shooting is basically the biggest improvement in this card and um yeah you can see it in the game that that shooting you know is just very very good so let's look at his in-game stats he is 35 years old guys he might be 36 right now i don't know but he is very old reactions 93 uh strength 98 this guy is basically just uh perfect in strength uh attacking position 86 um ball control 92 very very high his curves not that good Ball control um, and his, uh, his finishing 99. I mean, you can't get better than that. Heading accuracy 97, all uh, two points away from 99. Penalties 99, um, and he just has a lot of 99s and uh, you know in his stats. It's just unbelievable. Uh, but let's look at the goals. Let's look at the highlights, the assists by Luca Tony. We start off with this one right here, where he actually missed uh, that goal right there. Should have been a goal for him. But on that rebound, my player got that goal. He is going to score right here in this one. Uh, that was a very good goal. Even though there was no goalkeeper, he got that with his left foot. And I believe he is a right-footed. I didn't check. But I think, yeah, he has to be a right-footed player. Um, and he gets it with his left foot. Uh, you know, it was, I think it was a very good goal. In my opinion, it was a very good goal. Like I said, even though there, there was no goalkeeper there, uh, it, was, it was hard to finish that. Um, as you see right here, he didn't score here or he didn't give the assist. But one of the problems that I had with Luca Tony was that was his attacking position. I mean, it, it, it was 86, but with those medium attacking work rates, he is not uh, the best. Uh, he is he isn't always there when you need him, and that's a problem with strikers with medium uh, attacking work rates. And uh, so that was kind of a problem for me. Um, uh, so, you know, he did start off some of the plays like, like you saw in that goal by Marquisio, uh, where Marquisio ended up scoring that goal, but it looked at Tony was the one that started that, and he almost felt like he was as, he was playing as a center attacking mid at, at, at some points. Um, he might not be that bad if you play him there, you know, uh, you know, it's just an idea. Uh, but um, yeah, so that was one of the things I didn't like about him. Uh, this goal right here was very good, as you can. This is this, this right here shows how good he is at finishing, uh, because that was not an easy goal to score. No, that was not easy at all. But uh, his finishing being 99, this guy is just a perfect finisher in the box, um, and also outside of the box he can he can be pretty good. Again, another goal right here by Marquisio and the, the play. The play was started by, by uh, Luca Tony. So again, what I, what I was talking about, those medium work rates, he kind of sits more in the middle. Uh, this goal right here was very good. Uh, uh, his finishing again. So this guy, obviously he doesn't have the pace. He does not have the pace to beat uh, and almost any defender unless you're playing against center backs like Van Buten who has like 29 pace. I mean, and even like that, I mean, it's going to be hard to beat them. So without a pace, he is not going to beat players. Dribbling, 
and those two star uh, skill moves are just not gonna help at all, of course. So you know that's just not gonna just not gonna be good. Um, I had three other goals and two assists that this that Luka Tony scored. Unfortunately, I lost that footage that I recorded, so I couldn't show it to you guys. But yes, um, those eight goals. Uh, I, actually, the first game that I played with him, he got a hat trick. Um, and those two assists, I mean, it was just crazy. He got a hat trick and two assists in his first match. But like I said, I couldn't show you. I can't show you guys that because the footage was uh, uh, was lost. Um, uh, but uh, what was I talking about again? Uh, I forget what I was talking about. Oh, his pace. Yeah, he's very, very slow. So, yeah, don't expect this guy to beat anybody uh, while you're on the run. So, if you give him a through ball, it's going to be hard for him to uh, actually go on against the goalkeeper uh, alone. Uh, unless he is, like, way, way far up there. Uh, that's going to be the only way. I haven't talked about his heading. His heading, of course, 97 heading accuracy. I really didn't like his heading that much. Even though it's really high. I just found out it's not it's not the best thing about him. Seriously, it's not. But uh, so the top things about him: strength, finishing. Uh, I think and passing. Yeah, passing. Uh, that might be surprising, but his passing was actually pretty good and should be higher. And the bad things: attacking, positioning, pace, and dribbling. So I'm gonna give him an 8.6 out of 10, just because he is a beast of a finisher. I mean, he will finish almost every play you give him. Uh, so, yes, that's going to be the end of this review. Thank you guys for watching. Please give it a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Later.